Greetings, 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 coming back at you here again with another watch-related topic. Today I'm going to be discussing the increase of value in watches, okay? Because this caught me a little bit by surprise, guys. The market in general is demanding a lot of money for watches now, but if you got into watches around three to five years ago, it's more than likely that you made a nice profit. Like my Rolex 6694, I made like a $2,000 profit on that already. My vintage Omega collections, my Seamasters, my Genevs, my Constellation, I made another two grand on that in what, three years? So to me, watches have been a better investment than gold and silver. Now, I don't know how the market's going to go because manufacturers and even micro brands are charging a lot for watches nowadays, guys. Like, I remember when micro brands were charging $150, $200. Now they're charging $500, $1,000. You know, they did make some improvements, sure, but I don't know, guys. I don't know if if I would spend money on watches nowadays, like... The, the investment game was good a couple years back. Now with Rolexes and Omegas and stuff like that, you'll probably get your money back or a slight profit or maybe a, even a big profit. But I'm talking about other watches in general, like vintage watches, everything. Everything is increasing in price. Uh, vintage Omega Constellation, you got to pay like $700. And Omega... 1020 caliber day date i bought for 150 dollars a couple years ago uh now they're going for 600 650 it's crazy and another crazy thing is people are actually paying these prices so at the moment i don't think i'd buy any any expensive watches to be honest with you guys i'm gonna buy chinese homage watches and even on this, I made a slight profit. Because, <laughs> you know, you could buy these watches for like 75 bucks. I bought my Omega. It's going to come today, I think. So I'll probably make a video on it tomorrow. My Omega No Time to Die Seamaster Homage. I paid 100 bucks for it. Now they're selling for 140 150 You know, prices are going up. And it's not really a good thing if you're getting into watches now. Like I said, it was a good market around five years ago, guys. So just be on the lookout. Another example, the Zin watches. Zin, I remember when you could get a basic Zin 556, five, I believe it was, for around $800, $900. Now they're charging $1,300 for it. It's crazy. So if you bought that watch couple years back you made a pretty nice profit but if you buy it today I can't guarantee that in three years you'll get much of a profit unless they go up in price which most likely they will so yeah guys that's my little video watches are definitely increasing in price because I guess more and more people are getting into watches now so there's a market for that and um, just be on the lookout. Hey, guys, what about your collection? Did you make any money? Did you lose any money? You know, how's it going with your collection? Because my collection, I definitely made a profit. But I'm not looking to sell, you know. I'm not looking to sell. And I guess a lot of you guys aren't looking to sell either. We're more looking to buy watches, you know. But there are definitely some people out there that do it for an investment. They buy them and they sell them, they flip them, whatever. So, it's a crazy market nowadays, guys. Anyway, that's my little video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And check out your collection. Look up the prices. See if you made anything. I wouldn't sell. But hey, if you guys want to sell, you could sell make some profit and maybe buy another watch for that money that you make 
profit off of, you know? Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.